First up, the Paragon Plus. This is a lightweight level 1 CE certified knee protector meant to be comfortable for those long days out pedaling. This protector features one of those viscoelastic knee pads housed in a soft and stretchy fabric body. Uh, the viscoelastic pad is one of those materials that's kind of soft and malleable to the touch, but which hardens up under impact. We've avoided any serious crashes while testing the Paragon Plus, but we did send this crash test dummy out for some fake trail side crash testing and we can attest to the effectiveness of the material. The front of the pad is covered with a more durable fabric while the back is made out of mesh to breathe better. There's also a silicon strip along the back of the calves as well as silicon grippers inside the upper cuff for better grip. In use, the tall body of this pad helped it stay up on the thigh and it avoids that dreaded knee pad gap. We found the Paragon Plus super comfortable and it also did a pretty good job of staying in place, although it's a little bit short of the class leaders in this aspect. Sizing wise, the Paragon Plus runs fairly big, so consider sizing down if you're between measurements. If you're after more protection than the simple Paragon Plus can offer, the Vector Tech is a big step up. This protector combines a viscoelastic pad with a hard outer shell. There's also a soft internal liner for extra impact absorption and comfort. Alpine Stars placed a number of auxiliary pads around the main pad area. We particularly like the one that extends down the shin a little bit. Another nice feature of the Vector Tech is the zippered design, which lets you put on and remove the pad without having to remove your shoes, which is nice. There are a couple of large elastic straps that attach with Velcro to really secure the pad in place. On the trail, we found this pad surprisingly comfortable for such a sturdy piece of equipment and we certainly appreciated the zippered entry for ease of use. The extra protection features really make a difference in how this protector manages impacts, leaving your knee feeling a lot more protected than with lightweight options. Our fake trail side crash testing was really conclusive here. Now Alpine Stars only makes this protector in two sizes and while the adjustability and flexibility of the design will allow it to fit more people, this tester was really in between sizes and it left this size L XL protector just a little bit too big. Other than that, we were very impressed with this piece of equipment. Certainly one to consider if you're after a knee pad that will take a lot more abuse while remaining comfortable enough for full days in the bike park or even pedaling your bike around occasionally. Moving on to Alpine Stars apparel, let's have a look at the Drop Pro jersey and short. Now, if you're after going full enduro, this is about as enduro as it gets. Um, short, constructed with lightweight advanced fabrics and a tight, dare we say, athletic cut. Uh, this is definitely one to reach for if you like spending your days climbing up the hill and getting rowdy on the way back down. Lightweight material, check. Uh, stretchy yokes here and there, check. Adjustable waist straps, check. Abrasion resistant patches on the hips, check. Couple of zippered pockets, check. Uh, there's a neoprene phone guard in one of the pockets, check. Laser cut ventilation holes with internal mesh, Check. I mean, pretty much the only thing you don't get with this short is an internal chamois liner. But other than that, really, it's all here. The material and the attention to detail, they're all top notch. Yes, this short will set you back $130, but it won't leave you feeling shortchanged or ripped off. Moving on to the jersey, it follows the short's lead. The main fabric is sturdy and heavy duty cool star fabric which is meant to breathe and help you evacuate sweat on the trail. There are additional breathable mesh panels in the back and under the arms. Uh, a couple of hidden stash pockets look pretty clean and there's a soft goggle wipe section on the inside of each of them. You'll find the same abrasion resistant patches as on the short here on the elbows and the tail of the jersey is dropped to make sure it covers up that builder's bum. You don't want to scare your friends now do you? On the topic of being scared uh, reflective patches have been added to keep you safe if you find yourself pedaling home from the trails after it gets dark. On the trail, the Drop Pro kit delivers a snug but not restrictive fit. I tested a size 34 short and a size large jersey. And I'm 1 meters 84, about 88 kilos. Uh, all the fabrics and materials, they feel heavy duty to the touch, but they're also like super comfortable on the body. Breathability overall is good, maybe not exceptional, but this kit was built to take abuse and you can feel that when you wear it. Everything works as it should without any undue restrictions of your movements. When it gets really warm, things do heat up a bit, 
but you know if you ride high alpine or spend a lot of time in the bike park you'll really appreciate how rugged and protective all of this manages to be without the extra bulk. The only real negative point we found is the placement of the main pockets on the short. Now Alpine Stars put them as low as they'll go on the thigh which leaves them out of your way as you bend your legs but it also leaves them flapping around when you ride. So if you like to load up your pockets with bigger heavier items this is not the short for you. It's a shame because we love the inclusion of the neoprene foam guard and the generous size of the pockets in general. If you like your kit a bit more aired out the Alps 6.0 and the bunny hop short will deliver a much more breathable experience with fabrics that are lighter and softer to the touch. You still get plenty of features and plenty of attention to detail, but these two items are more meant for the everyday rider who doesn't require all their gear to be bulletproof. On the trail, we found this stuff to breathe well and provide plenty of all-day comfort in the saddle. Once again though, the pocket placement is awkward and the pockets are massive, but you can't really load them up too much as stuff will end up flapping around in the wrong place.